Number 10. Thomas Busby's Chair Perhaps the strangest abandoned object that people don't know enough about is nothing more than a chair, which in the 1600s happened to be the preferred chair of a thug, thief, and drunk named Thomas Busby who lived in North Yorkshire. That doesn't make it super impressive, as many chairs have been owned by some unsavory characters. But there's a little more to the story here. The chair was set up in his favorite inn, and he absolutely hated anyone else sitting in it. Well, Busby ended up killing his wife's father in a fit of rage, bludgeoning the man to death with a hammer. He was found out for his crime and sentenced to death in 1702. He was made to hang from a gibbet with his body dipped in tar, then his body to be placed on display outside of his favorite inn, which soon after his death was renamed the Busby Stoop Inn until it closed in 2012. But here's where the abandoned object comes in. One version of the story says that Busby's last order of business was to curse the chair before he died, claiming that anyone who sat in his favorite chair would meet a swift death. Apparently, people took the threat very seriously. There was even a report in 1894 about a guy who sat in the chair and then was found the next morning hung from outside from a post. To keep people safe, the chair was eventually abandoned and hung from the ceiling so nobody could sit in it. To this day, the chair is still hung from a ceiling to keep others safe, though it's now sitting in a small museum in the town of Thirsk. I wouldn't sit in a chair with a curse on it, would you? Number 9. Abandoned Foxtrot Navy Submarine This abandoned Foxtrot Soviet submarine was apparently delivered to the Libyan Navy from the USSR sometime between 1976 and 1983. It was one of six submarines given to the Libyan Navy, and perhaps one of the only remaining vehicles. Four out of the six of these submarines were decommissioned by the end of the 1900s and cannibalized to keep the remaining two submarines working for as long as possible. This abandoned sub, which is apparently sitting in a rural part of Russia, was likely ripped apart to fix other submarines. There isn't much more information about it other than the fact that it's definitely not functional. It has been abandoned for a very long time, and it doesn't appear as though anyone will be coming to its rescue anytime soon. These submarines have been obsolete for some time, and like a lot of the old Soviet war machines, it's been forgotten and left to decay. Someone could probably steal this submarine and refurbish it if they had the right equipment, and get back underwater with it. But the government would probably not be too happy about that. Number 8. The Castelnau Pools The Castelnau Pools are abandoned objects located near Barcelona. These pools were apparently used by people in the 1980s to cool off during the summer season. People would bus in from all over the country just to play in these giant refreshing pools. There was also mini golf, a cafeteria, and some very large trampolines nearby for the locals' amusement. However, one year rumors began to spread that the pools were not safe and were even deadly. Also, it was rumored that several children had died from jumping on the trampolines. The rumors ended up scaring all the locals, and people stopped showing up to the pools. They were eventually abandoned and neglected, and today they are a ghostly shell of their past glory, mostly adored by filmmakers and ghost hunters. However, it's never been confirmed that there is any supernatural activity involved in these weird pools. It's highly likely that they're just very creepy looking and so some people think there are ghosts hanging around. The ruins can still be seen today of these once glorious pools, now decrepit and certainly not a safe place to go swimming. These would have been a cool place to shoot a music video though. Have you ever gone to an abandoned pool? What did you find there? Why did you go? Tell me about it in the comment section down below. Then remember to subscribe to Taltanic if you haven't already. There are more awesome videos just like this one coming out all the time. Number 7. The Belcourt Castle Chairs Rhode Island is one of the oldest settlements in the United States, established back in 1690. It's also home to the Belcourt Castle, one of the most incredible abandoned buildings in the country. The castle was constructed by an architect named Richard Morris, who had designed the castle for a bachelor in 1894. However, the bachelor only resided in the extensive home for about eight weeks out of the year. Then, when he died in 1908, the castle fell into disrepair. The castle sat abandoned until the 1940s when it was sold to an entrepreneur who wanted to turn it into a car museum. Of course, that never happened. The property was then used to hold jazz festivals, but the upkeep of the property was neglected. In 1956, the property was acquired by the Tenney family, who filled it full of 
strange antiques and then basically left it as a living museum. Many of these antiques proved to be haunted. This includes a set of 17th century samurai armor, a mirror from the 18th century that hangs inside of the music room, and a pair of old salt chairs that might be the creepiest abandoned objects in history. These chairs are located in the Gothic ballroom, and those who have visited the empty castle have claimed that the chairs are haunted by spirits, with one occasion having 70 visitors witnessing a bolt of lightning shoot from one of the chairs. Number 6. Rare Chinese Vase A rare Chinese vase was abandoned in a French attic sometime in the 1900s. The Chinese vase sat in the attic collecting dust for at least three generations. The man who discovered the vase in the attic of his family home believes that it probably was purchased by his great uncle a very long time ago, perhaps in the beginning of the 1900s. A little curious about how much the vase could be worth, the guy took it to be examined by professionals, where he learned that it could be worth upwards of $850,000. The vase is the only one of its kind, according to Sotheby's Paris the same company that put the vase up for sale at auction. It was probably produced in China during the reign of the Qianlong Emperor between 1735 and 1796. The only other pieces of pottery like this are currently sitting in a collection at the National Palace Museum in Taipei, which shows you just how rare the vase is. This also goes to show that you should always be curious about what's sitting inside your attic, as you never know if you have a million dollar artifact that's been abandoned by an old member of the family. There are a lot of stories about abandoned antiques and attics that turn out to be worth millions. Keep your eyes open and you might be lucky enough to find one of your own. Number 5. Mummified Baby Now, here is something extraordinarily strange and scary. A mummified baby was apparently found abandoned inside a house attic that belonged to the great uncle of a man named Charles Peavy, and it has caused a huge controversy. But to understand this bizarre abandoned object, we need to go back to the beginning. According to the report from Sea Coast Online, Charles Peavy's uncle had loved a Hawaiian woman about 80 or 90 years ago and she had carried his child, but unfortunately the child died at birth and was stillborn. For whatever reason, Charles Peavy's great uncle kept the corpse of the baby and mummified it, then stuffed it into his attic and forgot about it. The other really crazy part is that Charles Peavy has a collection of family memorabilia that goes back two centuries, and the mummified baby is just considered to be part of the collection, added to it when they found it preserved inside his great uncle's attic in Manchester. But here's where the controversy comes in. Charles Peavy's four-year-old niece was overheard talking about the mummified baby with another kid at school, saying that her uncle was a murderer and he kept a dead baby in the house. Police got involved, the mummy was actually confiscated, and forensic anthropologists examined the mummy and refused to give it back. After all, it was literally a dead baby. Number 4. Witches and Cat Bones Some very creepy objects were recently discovered by archaeologists inside of a 17th century cottage during a construction project in Lancashire. The cottage was found near Lower Black Moss Reservoir out in the rural countryside. Archaeologists had been brought in to survey the area before engineers could get to work with the construction project, and they found the remains of a strange building hidden underneath a grass mound. According to the recent report from BBC News, historians are now claiming that the cottage may have belonged to one of the infamous Pindle Witches. Inside the bizarre cottage, archaeologists found a sealed room complete with cat bones bricked inside of the wall, which were likely used by witches to protect the cottage and those within it from evil spirits. However, there were no human remains discovered and no clue as to why the structure was abandoned and covered up with earth. I personally would never go in a building like this. It's too risky and too likely to be haunted. Number 3. Giant Monopoly a man in California discovered something incredible when he decided to rip up the carpet in his house. What he found was a giant game of Monopoly that had been abandoned by the previous owners of the house and hidden beneath a boring carpet. The man from California moved into the bungalow house back in 2003, but it wasn't until just recently that he decided to renovate the house. What he discovered underneath the carpet was not only a massive game of Monopoly, but it was an adult Monopoly game. With silhouettes of naked women instead of the typical community chest. 
After discovering the strange Monopoly board, the man was actually able to get into contact with the previous owners of the house. However, they would not reveal the mystery behind their adult board game, which, for some strange reason, they decided to paint onto the floor of one of the bedrooms. And while the new owner of the game wanted to create life-size pieces to go with it, his wife at the time wouldn't let him. She forced him to paint over the Monopoly board on the floor. Shortly after, they got divorced. Unearthing that Monopoly game might have been bad luck for him. Number 2. Craig E. Clare Castle The Craig E. Clare Castle in New York is one of the strangest abandoned buildings in the United States. It's located in the Catskills Mountains and is surrounded by so much mystery and intrigue that it just had to be put on the list. It's also known as the Dundas Castle, and nobody seems to be certain of its history. Nobody knows exactly when construction began on the original project, though educated estimates say that it began as a summer lodge for a man named Bradford Lee Gilbert in the 1880s. But when Gilbert passed away in 1911, that was when the castle really began to take shape. But here's where the story of this abandoned building gets really weird. After Gilbert died, Ralph Dundas took over the property for himself. But he died just 10 years later and the year after his death, his wife was committed to a sanitarium. The castle ended up being abandoned. At some point in time, the property was purchased by the Masons, but even today, the place is decrepit and empty. Some say that on the full moon, the three heart-shaped ponds on the property even fill with blood. But of course, this has never scientifically been proven. Number 1. Abandoned Heads in the state of Virginia, there are 42 very creepy and abandoned heads of presidents that were apparently made by an artist from Houston who was inspired after he drove past Mount Rushmore. According to Insider Magazine, the statues were displayed for about six years in the President's Park in Williamsburg, but nobody really wanted to look at a bunch of creepy stone statues of presidents. So they were eventually transported to Croker, where they were supposed to be put inside of a stone crusher and destroyed. But rather than that happening, the guy hired to destroy them actually spent over $10,000 bringing them to his own property so that they could be saved. What's really crazy is that the presidential heads are now more popular because they're sitting in what appears to be an abandoned field on this guy's property than they ever were when they were at President's Park. And of course, this is because people just love abandoned stuff. What's the coolest thing you've ever found while out exploring? Let me know in the comments and thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already, then come back soon for another amazing video.